Hello, this is Healing Hands, Life Path number four. Welcome, welcome to your February 2020 um, Life Path number four tarot reading. Um, <clears throat> guys, you know yourself. You are the worker bee. You are the worker bee of the Life Path um, numbers, okay? Destiny number is what they also call it. Um, so I'm not going to go into that whole lecture of, you know, your life path number being the most significant number in your numerological chart, like I always do, because I'm sure by now, if you're a consistent, um, you know, um, subscriber, then, you know, already, if you're new, I want to say thank you. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you for joining the family. Um, as we're beginning, um, to build out our family and, by clicking like, subscribe helps me pick up on your energy. It helps me tap into your energy and be able to provide more accuracy um, with my reading as it, it will relate to you. Um, because remember, these are all like general readings. But when you do click on that like button, you know, there's an energy exchange that helps me um, focus when I'm, you know, like premeditate the uh, premeditating on your cards so guys something interesting happened while i was doing my premeditation all right while i was getting into your energy i was being shown i was shown like a particular way to go about pulling your cards and I, as i sat down there i'm like okay why am i being why am i being told i was like okay pick this one first and that second and third and fourth up till the last card and how it will all go i was being shown and i had no idea why i'm like okay you know if that's how the reading wants to go that's fine whatever you know but later on why i started going deeper into your energy i now realized that guys you all are number 4 you're all about structure discipline um, you're all about, you know, things making logical sense, things being balanced. You're all, you know, you're all about being practical and trustworthy and you, you persevere and you work hard at anything you want to do. You guys are a great worker. All right. You're known to be down to earth. You consider hard work as an essential part of life and you give it your utmost importance. You dislike people who like to go the easy way because you prefer to strive and dedicate yourself towards achieving that success. And because you value hard work so much, you expect everybody around you to also value it. And when they don't do so, you tend to butt heads with them. All right. One important thing is giving up is never an option for you. You're highly organized. You want order and structure and you want things to be arranged in its proper place. So you see, you wanted things to be pulled in its like that energy of wanting me to pull this a certain way. So guys, wow. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess, you know, there's a message that needs to come out. I know you guys, in addition to everything I've said, I know you all value honesty and loyalty. Um, and you're very depend dependable in your community. Um, so number four is usually like a number of um, stability, groundedness, calmness. You've been the person that is, you know, like keeping the peace in any situation, you know, it's, it can be also a number of limitation, but it's a number of order, um, service, practicality, foundations, discipline, reliability, systematism, right? So guys, let's get into whatever this is. The way I've been guided to pull your cards is to start with this. So I'm going to just do this and pick one. So something about expectation. All right. So there's something around, you know, expect you're expecting something to come into fruition. Maybe something that you've worked hard at, or uh, maybe something that it might be something that has to do with a job for some of you is also what I'm picking up. But it's something that you know you you've put in the work, you've played your part, you've um um done your role you've done what you're meant to do in, in it you know whatever your own part is in this whole thing you've played your part so you're you're now in an expectation mode all right let's see next card it says saboteur so saboteur talks about it highlights your fear of self-empowerment and the changes it would bring to your life and on the flip side, it, it says it, it includes self-destructive behavior or the desire to undermine others. 
So there's also an energy I'm feeling in the month of um, February that you're going to be dealing with, you know, um, honesty in your environment and maybe even regarding whatever this expectation is. But, you know, for this whole expectation not to be sabotaged, because I'm looking at somebody who's like about to bust, uh, you know, the, the balloon and self-sabotage themselves. So some of you might have things going on that you're meant to keep to yourself and not share with people because you're trying to avoid, you know, um, you know, people, you know, sabotaging, you know, your, the effort that you put into this. So some of you might have things that are going on in your life that you're not even speaking about. All right, let's pick up a card. Okay. So you have surrender, which is a number. Nine plus one is ten. Ten to me is equal to one. One is a number of individualism, independence, attainment, new beginnings, innovation, leadership. But so for some reason, there's, you know, you're being told to surrender something. Surrender um, the expectation that you have regarding a particular relationship, perhaps, or regarding a particular effort that you put into something, or regarding a particular situation in your life. Um, surrender is what I'm hearing. You're being asked to surrender to the outcome and not try to manipulate the outcome or not try to expect you know, a certain outcome and for you to allow everything to play out the way it's supposed to play. Remember your number four, number four is all, is also a number of, you know, order, um, divine order. Things, everything happening in its order and things happening how it's supposed to be. And, you know, so, you know, since you're all about that and you have this great expectation, I hope it's all in balance because I'm, I'm feeling an, an easy feeling in my stomach. And that's usually the feeling I feel when I have like fear or uncertainty or some kind of anxiety, you know, but it's a very intense, naughty kind of feeling in the stomach. All right. You have number one, two, which is equal to a three, three is a number of self-expression, creativity, communication, um, socializing, being artistic, but it does talk about the temple path and uh, this talks about your living your life, you know, according to your life purpose and trying to align your steps with, you know, where the divine wants you to go. Again, I'm being told order. I'm being told divine order. You know, things, you know, doing the things that you're meant to be doing. Being in uh, the energy of alignment with your, you know, higher calling, your higher purpose. Um, whatever this expectation is, there is a need to align to your higher calling. Okay, all right, so I've gone that way. So the next one they wanted me to pull was this one right here. Okay. Teaching. So some of you might be teachers. Some of you might be teaching people something. Some of you might also be, you know, having role reversal this month by learning and finally gaining knowledge about something. But it says you inspire young people to learn. So some of you might be living your life, you know, um, shining your lights finally to the world um, and expressing yourself creatively um, in, in alignment with what your life path is supposed to be or what you're meant to be doing with, you know, with, I mean, life path number four. Because um, you guys... You succeed in job areas like engineering, like, you know, like mechanic, draftsman, draftsman, builder, architect, contractor, mason, carpenter, dealer in furniture, any hardware manufacturer, technical writer or technician, actuary, army officer, manager, trainer, programmer or computer analyst, um, civil service or government office manager and librarian and the list goes on and on but whatever this is there's an energy of teaching or being inspirational or inspiring people around you or motivating people around you to also want to better themselves to also want to align themselves to also want to figure out what their life 
you know, path or their calling is, you know, what they are meant to do or, or how they can make a difference in the society. But whatever it is that you're doing looks like you're doing it well and you're being admired in your maybe environment, community, in your family. Maybe there's something that you've done that it's like, a, you know, like your kids are learning from that thing that you just did. Maybe there was a pivotal decision that you made and it was very, very important, the choice that you had to make in that um, decision and your kids are looking at it and they're learning you know people around you are like wow you're wowing them with that decision that you made i have no idea what this is all about goodness all right so your next card says 10 of thoughts a situation that's been troubling you has come to an end and you can breathe a sigh of relief with the challenging times behind you you can now move on. It's important to fully let go at this juncture. Someone in your life may now finally be free of his or her addiction or codependency issues. So Ten of Thoughts is like the Ten of Swords in the regular tarot. And it talks about the ending of um, anxiety and the ending of the betrayal or the ending of the backstabbing or the ending of um, the constant arguments and the misunderstandings and the endings of... Um, you know, it could be an ending because ending one plus zero is 10, which is equal to one, which one is a number of new beginnings. Um, it's a number of individualism. Um, it can be a number of separation. So something might be ending and some people are separating or somebody is moving away or somebody uh, coming back together or something ending for something to stop because I do see two people still, still standing together here. Even though it's dark around them and they have no idea like what the next thing will be, but they're sticking it out is what I'm also being, you know, guided. So um, the situation that is troubling you, it has come to an end. So I'm thinking maybe something has wrapped up and I'm also being drawn to like a circle, something closing, a cycle ending and flower ending in a positive way that now you have another opportunity to, you know, like get back into this thing with this person or this job or something. Okay, so why are we... Okay, let's do that. Let's pick the one that flipped. It says, Divine Guidance, Archangel Sandalphon. And it says, The search for meaning in life. Consider an alternative approach. Surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. Another reference to teaching and, you know learning and surrounding yourself and the people that you surround yourself with or by and it's talking about you know the search for meaning and trying to like make sense out of maybe whatever this situation is that ended here um and trying to figure a way to now birth this um newness that you know is meant to be a part of this you know new new relationship right or this rebirth of a relationship you know with somebody or something in your environment right um so it's, it's like and i'm looking at this and I'm, I, i've seen a priest basically not even an angel but i know there's divine guidance for whatever this is you're being guided um divinely Okay, so the next one is supposed to be this, and let's do that. Next card talks about the Lady of the Gifts. Generosity, receiving, withholding. It's number two, zero, which is equal to two. So two is a number of cooperation, balance, diplomacy, uh, peacemaking, uh, being the power behind the throne. But this talks about um, generosity and receiving and withholding. So some of you might be in an energy of giving or energy of receiving or wanting to get back but i'm being drawn most likely to receiving intuitively like intuitive guidance um intuitive guidance is what i'm getting and i'm also being drawn to this divine guidance here and and somebody connecting with you know something higher than them to get some kind of intuition receiving some kind of uh, you know uh, and and for you not to withhold whatever this intuition you're getting that you know maybe you're meant to share with somebody else but you're being you're withholding i think i also picked up some kind of energy about withholding here okay the saboteur energy and the surrender energy but somebody is like trying to expect a certain outcome that you're meant to like just completely surrender to all right 
an outcome that is beyond your control you're all about order and divine order whatever this is will manifest in its own time all right your, fi your final card before we close this out with an archangel michael prayer card is stepping into power it talks about you are strong beyond measure so some of you might be undermining the strength that you have inside of you um but there is something about shining the light and i'm getting that intuitive message and being to move further and move ahead in your life path all right this is what i'm also being drawn to right now and being also able to move ahead and step into the power as it relates to your life path or you being able to accomplish that which makes you happy because ultimately your life paths will be something that aligns with who you are with your being and your person and will be you know meant to be one of those things that that brings you joy on a day-to-day -day. but there's something about shining a light and getting some kind of intuitive guidance and i'm looking at somebody who's also being intuitively led um just like we have that divine guidance here um so there's a lot of you know divine presence and intuition and somebody being divinely guided and somebody being um asked to surrender control or expectation of an outcome and um also you know while you're expecting to go inwards and figure out you know maybe things that you may be doing to sabotage yourself that might need to change or you know maybe things that you need to have learned from or things that maybe you in turn were able to teach people around you or motivate people to become fantastic reading let's close this out with an archangel michael prayer card and the card that we have for you says decide to be happy now so the decision is up to you guys your happiness is in your hands right let go of uh, possibility of any outcome any particular outcome just let the divine um be the one to you know bring this outcome to 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 fruition without you trying to determine what it is decide to be happy now and it says thank you for helping me open my my heart to happiness joy and bliss i am now willing to see all of the goodness in my life so you know that's a very good prayer to close this out thank you life path number four um i hope some somebody will find this very helpful uh please continue to help me build out my you know um my channel um please like subscribe share click the notification button for all my return um subscribers thank you so much for the if you're new and you're just divinely guided to join thank you for joining this uh, wonderful family i hope you will click on the like button and exchange your energy with me click on the subscribe button and, and so we can have an energy exchange because that's a very good way for me to pick up your energy and make sure that i'm providing you with a more accurate reading um because like i you know i always say this is a general reading and it might not resonate for you or with everybody but once we have an energy exchange you know like that energy exchange will make me keep picking up um your energy and being able to provide you with the best reading possible all right thank you so much life path number four i'll see you all again next month bye this is healing hands